This video will show how to use Hirenbeck pendulums to protect nesting tree swallows from house sparrows. House sparrows like these can be a nightmare for people in the U.S. and Canada who love tree swallows. Also called English sparrows, these birds are not native to North America. They were introduced from Europe over 150 years ago and now number over 80 million here, living almost everywhere people do. The problem with house sparrows is they compete violently with native cavity nesting birds for nest sites. Sadly, each year house sparrows kill countless thousands of our native birds, trapping them in nest boxes and pecking them to death with their powerful bills. This photo by Joni James of Indiana shows graphically what a house sparrow can do to a tree swallow it traps in a box. And it's not just adults that are victims. This photo from Dick Stouffer of Alberta shows four young swallows killed by a house sparrow. So, what can be done to combat house sparrow destruction of tree swallows? Well, house sparrows can be legally killed since they're considered invasive alien pests. And some people opt to do this, but many others would prefer non-lethal methods of protection. Unfortunately, despite claims, boxes with slotted entrances or small interiors are not very effective. So other, less conventional house sparrow deterrents have been investigated. One possibility is the sparrow spooker, seen here, which is easy to make and when used correctly does protect bluebirds from house sparrows. There isn't much data on tree swallow acceptance of spookers, but if you want to try one, the best source of information is the Bluebird website Cialis. The rest of this video will focus on another possibility, the Hirenbeck pendulum, or balancing door, which was invented by René LePage of Quebec specifically to protect tree swallows like these from house sparrows. We have tried pendulums in several locations, having high risk of house sparrow intrusions, and we found that they worked. So now we'll show you how they work and how we introduce them to tree swallows. We should say at this time that we have no financial interest in pendulums. We don't make them and we don't sell them. So, what are Hirenbeck pendulums? First of all, they're not traps. They do not injure birds. They attach to the flat, vertical fronts of wooden nest boxes with their entrance passageway aligned with the entrance hole of the nest box. In the back of the pendulum, there's a flat metal tab it inserts into a bracket that's screwed onto the box below the box entrance hole. The pendulum can pivot on that tab. And if enough weight is added at the pendulum's entrance, the pendulum will tip over, which blocks access to the box entrance. The pendulum's degree of tippiness is controlled by an adjustable balance weight that can be rotated like this along an axis screw. And rotating it, you can make the pendulum more tippy or less tippy. And you can tell where the weight is positioned by the arrow on the front of the pendulum. 
adjustable tippiness is crucial because the pendulum works by taking advantage of the fact that tree swallows are lightweight birds, averaging only about 20 grams, while house sparrows are heavier, averaging 28 to 30 grams. So a pendulum's balance can be adjusted so it won't tip over if a 20 gram tree swallow lands and the swallow can pass through it into the box, but if a 28 gram house sparrow lands, the pendulum will tip over, blocking the box entrance. The next clip will use a weight to demonstrate this. This is a high run back pendulum adjusted so that it's at the correct weight for tree swallows. There's a little arrow and a big arrow that represents the position of the weight that's underneath here. It's set now when these arrows are aligned so that tree swallows can enter and exit without the pendulum tipping. But if a 28 gram heavier house sparrow tries to enter, this is a 28 gram weight. See what happens when the heavier bird tries to enter. Over goes the pendulum, blocking the entrance so the house sparrow can't get in and kill young, adult, or eggs of the tree swallows. Here's a close-up showing how the big and small arrows are aligned to point at each other when the pendulum is balanced for tree swallows. Now you know the theory, let's see some action. First here's a series of clips showing tree swallows going in and out through pendulums. There may be a bit of wobble, but the swallows don't seem to mind at all. They seem perfectly comfortable with the pendulums. Now let's see how house sparrows do. We mounted pendulums balanced for tree swallows very briefly on active house sparrow boxes, which the sparrows would be very motivated to enter. But the male kept getting tipped off. And the female didn't do any better. So the pendulums do what they're supposed to do. Now that we've seen how pendulums work and that they do work, we want to show you our method for when and how to introduce pendulums to tree swallows. First, the when. Tree swallows migrate north very early in spring. Here's a little group of early arrivals that got caught by a snowfall trying to survive by eating bayberries. And look how bare the vegetation is behind these migrants. It may sound strange, but you do not want to have a pendulum equipped box waiting like this in early spring when the swallows arrive in your area. If it's early spring and you already have a box up that you want to mount a pendulum on, 
remove the box. Or, if you don't want to remove it, cover the box with a dark plastic bag so it can't be seen. Next, we wait for weeks. The reason we need to wait is that tree swallows usually don't begin building nests and laying eggs for five to six weeks after their early spring arrival. And during these early weeks, they often stay away from the boxes much of the time. Typically, they spend a few hours in the morning claiming and defending a box, and then they leave for the rest of the day, as they did here. The problem is, if our pendulum equipped box was available during this early period, house sparrows could potentially become possessive of it in the swallow's absence. And if left alone, house sparrows might actually learn to use the pendulum. It can happen. So the best way to make sure this doesn't happen is to not put up or reveal a pendulum box until the tree swallows are ready to stick around close to the box all day. And the swallows don't do this until the females are finally ready to build their nests. Now since building the nests base and cup of plant material is the female tree swallow's job, and since building requires her to go in and out of the box many hundreds of times in a few days, the nest building stage is by far the best time for her to learn to use the pendulum. So, our five to six weeks wait ends when we're certain female tree swallows in the area are really ready and eager to build. Only then do we put up or reveal our pendulum boxes. Now if we've timed things right, roaming tree swallows still looking for nest sites should quickly discover and claim the box and the female will start bringing nest material almost immediately. And we've found these highly motivated females can learn and master landing on and passing through pendulums in a few short hours, especially if we give them some help. Our goal is for the female tree swallow to become completely comfortable using this strange device, and we want her to learn as fast as possible so we can leave the box alone, confident that house sparrows won't be able to interfere with the swallows nesting. Now our long wait is over and we get to enjoy revealing the box and watching and helping the female tree swallow master the pendulum. We've picked a nice morning when we can be present for two to four hours and we've chosen a spot where house sparrows once nested in another box we removed near buildings where house sparrows hang out, and we put up our own box and mounted it with a pendulum. For this introduction, we want the pendulum to be very stable, so we rotated the balance weight far to the left, as you can tell by, by the position of the big arrow here. This makes the pendulum very hard to tip. We want no wobbling that could spook or discourage the female swallow as she learns. And so she won't have to search far for nest material, we gather dry, dead grasses, cut them into easily handled four to six inch pieces, and spread them loosely on the ground we cleared below the box.
Now, we park ourselves nearby in a lawn chair to watch the action. Always being ready to chase off any curious house sparrows that might approach the box. It can be amazing how quickly tree swallows can spot a new box. Within five minutes, a pair had found ours, had claimed it, and was defending it from other swallows. They had no problem landing on the pendulum because it was set so hard to tip. But, although they both peeked in a lot, and the male entered once and the female entered four times, the female didn't appear ready to build. Perhaps the wind was a factor. And, after 90 minutes, the pair left. When they didn't return after another one hour, we covered the box so house sparrows couldn't see it, and we left. Next morning, it was a different story. The pair of swallows was there as soon as we uncovered the box. At first, the female seemed reluctant and cautious, peeking in and looking around. But then, she got down to the business of nest building. Soon, she was zipping in and out through the pendulum, which was still set very hard to tip. And the male was confident landing on it too. As she worked, we counted the times she entered. And when she reached 25 to 30, we reset the pendulum, slightly more tipping. Check the arrow's position here. The plan was to go through a series of resets, making the pendulum more and more tippy as the female got comfortable through her repetitions. The goal, of course, was for her to become completely at ease when the pendulum was finally set at the tree swallow balance point, and it's almost there now. And now, we've reached the tree swallow balance point. Check the position of the big arrow now. This female's really got it down, and in only a few short hours. You might think it would take a long time for a female tree swallow to go through the pendulum so many times as the pendulum was reset again and again. But females often get into what we call a building frenzy. This female had a good supply of nest material provided by us right below the box and she was bringing it into the box at a rate of more than one time a minute. Clearly this female has mastered the fully sensitized pendulum. You'll notice it may wobble a bit sometimes but the female swallow doesn't mind. She's learned a neat leveraging trick. By using her head and body, she can nudge the pendulum into position and enter. Watch for this move. As for the male, he hasn't needed to enter yet. He will have to learn later on, on the fully sensitized pendulum, when he brings feathers in to line the nest. And by the time he needs to feed the young, he'll have mastered the pendulum too. For us, we can leave this box for now. Confident house sparrows shouldn't be a problem. They quickly learn they can't take a box with a tippy entrance blocking pendulum, especially one that's being defended by dive bombing tree swallows. Of course, we will be checking the box daily just to make certain the pendulum is still in vertical position and to make sure the entrance hasn't been jammed by feathers or stiff nest material. So that's our method for when and how to introduce pendulums to tree swallows. But just to review the process, we're going to run through it again quickly with another box. Here's another location where tree swallows and house sparrows have competed. We've removed an old box used in the past by sparrows. And after waiting weeks, 
until we knew area tree falls were nest building, we put up a new pendulum equipped box and spread cut grasses on the ground beneath it. A pair of tree swallows quickly discovered and claimed the box with the usual chattering and chasing. Note the pendulum is set very hard to tip as indicated by the position of the big arrow. We watched, counted entries, and guarded against possible house fair intrusions. It wasn't long before the female began building a bit, but then the pair left, so we covered the box for the day. The next morning, this female went into a real nest building frenzy, dropping to the ground, picking up grasses, and carrying them through the pendulum into the box, again, and again, and again. In the clip you're watching, she does it four times in 80 seconds. And this was pretty typical of her behavior that morning. She was an extremely fast learner and a super hard worker, which made our job easy. Each time, after she made 25 to 30 entries, we would reset the pendulum to be a bit more tippy, gradually moving the weight until it finally reached the tree swallow balance point, which you'll remember is when the large arrow and the small arrow point directly at each other, as shown here. And do you remember that trick the first box female used to lever or pry her way through a wobbly pendulum? Well, here are five fast clips that show the second box female learned to do it too. Watch. We think it's pretty neat. So, to summarize, we've tried to show how Hiram Beck pendulums function to prevent house sparrows from destroying tree swallow nestings, and how and when we introduce pendulums to tree swallows. When we made this video, we had used pendulums eight times. And all eight were successful, producing a total of 36 young tree swallows, including the one on the bar and the one on the box roof here. We realize eight is a small sample, but we do think eight successes and eight tries is a good trend, and that the combination of tippy pendulums and determined box defense by tree swallows does make a strong house sparrow deterrent. This video was produced by the Salmon Creek Tree Swallow Project and it was filmed and narrated by Chris Gates who is solely responsible for its content. If after watching this video, you want to try a pendulum yourself. They are only sold online at www.hirenbeck.com, the website of Rene LePage, the inventor. And if you do order a pendulum, we strongly recommend that you download the PDF suggestions for using 
Hyrenbeck pendulums to protect tree swallow nests from house sparrows. From the link on the house sparrow damage page of our own website www.treeswallowprojects.com